All right, guys, now that we have our drone built and we're ready to go, the next thing we need to do is program it. So to program it, we're actually going to download a few files, a few programs. We're going to download Betaflight, uh, which is going to be our flight controller software, and that's what we're going to use to program the flight controller. We're also going to download a program called BL Heli, and that is the program that is going to help us uh, program our uh, electronic speed controllers. So let's get started with this real quickly. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to download uh, Betaflight. So to do that, we're going to go to our FPV Professor website, which I already have pulled up. So go to fpvprofessor.com. And then go down to where it says drone kits and videos. And if you drop down there, the first link you're going to see is downloads. And that's going to be our new downloads link page that we're creating. And this will be updated constantly. So you'll see all these new updates or all these new links to downloads that you may be looking for, whether it's for firmware for your radio, firmware for your flight controller, or whatever. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the, we're going to click the link here for the beta flight release page. And that's going to take us to the beta flight GitHub page, okay? What's important about this is this is going to be our, it's going to put it in order of newest releases. Now, a lot of people have been running Betaflight 7.2, 10.7.2, which is right here. And I actually have that loaded. Let me open this and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. So here, here it is, but you'll notice right here that it says that there's a new version out. So I'm going to teach you guys the new version because it's most likely what everybody's going to shift to anyway. So what we're going to do is when we come to this page right here, we're going to scroll down on candidate two. And we're going to go to this, uh, the arrow beside the word assets right here, and we're going to click that. This is where our downloads are. And if you're running a Windows based machine like I am, you're going to download this one right here, the second one in the list. So just click that and it's going to start saving it down here. Okay. Once it saves it, all you're going to do when it's done downloading is you're going to just wait for it a second, click it. There you go. Once it's done downloading, make sure to click it and you're going to get this windows protected, uh, protect your PC error. Don't worry about that. Just click more info and then click run anyway. All right, then what's going to happen is you're going to be prompted. Uh, we're going to install for all. I'm going to install for all users. I don't know if your PC is going to ask for this or not. I'm going to go ahead and install for all users. And then you're going to get a um, user account control dialog box. Can't see it on my screen there, but it's the yellow with the gray. Um, and it's basically going to be asking you, are you sure you want this program to make changes? Click yes, and then follow the prompts here. So the language you're going to use is English, and we're going to accept the agreement. And we're going to change the folder though, because it's a good habit to keep old versions. So if you load this one and then there's a new one and something goes wrong with it, you want to be able to go back to your old one. So this is 10.8.0 release two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the end of this uh, folder line here. I'm going to, I'm going to put a, sorry, better flight configurator. And then I'm going to put um, uh, 10.8.0 R2. Okay, that's the folder it's going to be putting it in for me. So now I'm going to click next. And then it's going to ask me if I wanted to make a uh, shortcut on my desktop. Yes, we're going to do that. And then we're going to click install. Because I still have 10.7.2 uh, and I like that version too. And 10.8.2 is a pre-release. 10.8.0 Rev2 is a pre-release. If there's a problem with it or something goes wrong or doesn't work with one of my drones, I want to go back to the other one. So try to keep all your files in the folders, install them in folders so you don't lose the old version for maybe a year or so. So it's, it's a good way to keep old versions that have been proven to work and have all the bu bugs uh, and kinks worked out of them. So this install is actually going to go faster than the old 10.7.2. Uh, it should be done here in just a second. And then we're going to open it and, uh, and then we're going to stop this pretty much right here and then come back and plug in the drone and do all those kind of things. All right. So right here when it's done, it says it's got a checkbox beside, beside start beta flight configurator. So I'm going to click finish. And so I'm going to wait for that hopefully to open. And at the same time, it does put a link right here on your desktop. I'm going to put my link, my shortcut beside my other one. So now these are the two versions I'm running. Uh, and you know what? It may not launch that one because I had the old one open. So now let me go ahead and open the new one here. And there you go. So we have 10.8.0 Rev2 loaded. This is what it looks like. And one of the ways you can tell it's a new version is it has this new um, uh, virtual uh, port connection. So right now we have nothing plugged into our drone, right? And if we click connect, it's going to actually get started anyway. It won't be doing anything for us, but it'll get started as a virtual port for us to kind of work through. The old version didn't have that. So, uh, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to use the regular mode right here when we plug our ports in. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in just a second. But right now, just make sure you get to this point where you've loaded Betaflight and you're able to get it to uh, start up. Okay. And I'll be right back to show you the next step.